Hey there, welcome to our latest video. We humans sure do share our planet with a whole bunch of creatures, including insects. You won't believe it, but recent studies suggest there are about 200 million insects for every single one of us on Earth. With numbers like that, it's no surprise we've got some risky critters among them. Are you new here? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Oh, and give this video a thumbs up before we get started. All right, let's talk about the common housefly. Usually, we just see them buzzing around, being a bit of a bother. But did you know they can actually pose some risks? Yep, that's right. The average housefly can carry around 65 diseases and over 350 types of bacteria. From mild fevers to serious stuff like tuberculosis and leprosy, these little guys can pack quite a punch. And get this, there's a giant fly out there called the Garamides Heroes that can grow up to 7 centimeters long. Imagine having that buzzing around your house. You'll find these big flies hanging out in places like Bolivia, Paraguay, and Brazil. So, make sure you keep your food covered because flies just can't resist it. The name tarantula hawk itself brings up a feeling of fear. This insect is a spider killer, and it particularly likes going after larger spiders, especially tarantulas. They sting their tarantula prey, putting them into a deep sleep before carrying them back to their nest. Interestingly, there's a species of tarantula hawk that just feeds on nectar from flowers. Among them, it's mainly the female tarantula hawks that are good at hunting tarantulas. Their sting, which lasts about five minutes, is known as one of the most painful insect stings in the world. One researcher who felt it describes it as an immediate, very painful feeling that makes you want to scream. If even insect expert Justin Schmidt says it hurts a lot, then you know it's bad. Now, let's talk about the pus caterpillar. Imagine a butterfly with long hair like a Persian cat. But don't be fooled by its look. This insect is one of the most poisonous bugs around. You mainly find them in Mexico and the eastern United States. It's actually the young ones, called larvae, that are so dangerous, so it's best not to touch them. They have hair like brushes and orange stripes on their back, hiding a secret poisonous spines. If these spines touch your skin, you'll feel a lot of pain as the venom spreads through your body. If you get stung, it's important to clean the wound right away and take out any hairs stuck in your skin. Wasps can be found all around the world. They're quite handy because they help control the population of flies and mosquitoes. You've probably noticed them buzzing around in your garden or on your balcony. But did you know that there are over 75,000 different species of wasps? One of the well-known ones is the yellow jacket, mostly found in North America. Unlike other wasps that generally leave you alone, this particular one is infamous for its aggressiveness. If someone accidentally disturbs one of their underground nests, their alarm signal will call forth hundreds of stinging wasps to attack. Unlike bees, these yellow insects don't lose their stinger. So, they don't just sting once, but they'll repeatedly attack and sting purely out of aggression. In some cases, their sting can even be deadly. I can see you're wondering, how can beetles be dangerous? Well, with over 350,000 different species of beetles in the world, it's only natural that some of them can be risky. Believe it or not, some beetles can give you a good bite. Let's start with the Titan beetle, one of the largest insects globally, measuring nearly 17 centimeters in length. Found mainly in rainforests, its powerful lower jaw can not only snap pencils in half, but also pierce human flesh. Another intriguing species is the Hercules beetle, part of the rhino beetle group. The males can grow up to an impressive 19 centimeters and boast incredible strength, capable of carrying up to 850 times their body mass. To put it in perspective, that's like an adult male carrying a whopping 68,000 kilograms. But the most concerning beetle species might be the blister beetle. A brush with this beetle can lead to irritation and painful blisters. Also worth noting is the rove beetle, which carries a toxic compound called patron. Contact with these beetles can result in bumps with a burning sensation, leading to high fevers and body pains. In extreme cases, it could even cause blindness. So be cautious around this insect. At first glance, the brown recluse spider might easily be mistaken for your average brown spider. However, you can tell them apart by their eyes. They have eerie rows of six eyes instead of the usual eight, typical of most spiders. Yet, despite their small size, this spider ranks among the most perilous in the world due to its highly toxic venom. 
Once bitten, victims often develop dark blisters and sores that can persist for weeks in the same spot. Some individuals experience severe skin reactions, including tissue decay. Thankfully, these spiders are limited to the South and Central United States, preferring dark, secluded spots like rocks or underleaves. Nonetheless, they can occasionally be found indoors, even hiding in people's shoes. Unlike your typical bee, these hornets possess a sting designed for maximum impact. Bold-faced hornets have the ability to sting repeatedly, making it crucial to keep a safe distance from these insects. They perceive any predator or intruder as a threat, making it important to note that you're dealing with insects that prefer confronting bees rather than avoiding them. The venom from their sting can last for 24 hours and is exceptionally painful, posing a significant danger, particularly when near your face or eyes. Individuals who have been stung reported various symptoms, ranging from breathing difficulties to swallowing problems. In severe cases, some experienced serious allergic reactions, necessitating immediate hospitalization. These blood-sucking insects, known as kissing bugs, are primarily found in Central and South America, certain regions of the United States and Mexico. If you happen upon one, you'll quickly realize they don't engage in any romantic gestures. Instead, they bite you in a Dracula-like fashion, typically while you're asleep. Similar to mosquitoes, these unsettling creatures rely on blood for survival and have no qualms extracting it from various parts of your body. Now, you might wonder why the name Kissing Bugs? Well, they earn this moniker from their preferred biting spots, around the mouth or eyes. Capable of delivering up to 15 bites, these are not only painful, but also carry diseases such as Chagas disease. Symptoms include severe fever, vomiting, anemia, and swelling. While this disease can be treated in its early stages, after a few months, it becomes untreatable. In South America, it has emerged as a significant problem, leading to unfortunate outcomes for many people. The brown tail moth, adorned with tiny poisonous hairs, fortunately, only inhabits a few places globally. This invasive species accidentally arrived from Europe in 1897 and has now established itself along the coast of Massachusetts and Maine in the United States. When we say invasive species, it signifies that the insect has excessively multiplied, causing harm to its new surroundings. While the butterfly itself may not pose much danger, you need to be exceptionally cautious when they are in the larval stage. This is because the larvae are covered in poisonous hairs that can lead to dermatitis. For those who are insensitive, dermatitis results in a severe rash, so it's crucial to avoid contact with this hazardous insect at all times. On the other hand, the giant tree wetter holds the title for one of the largest insects ever to inhabit Earth. Native to New Zealand, they not only rank among the world's largest insects, but also claim the title of the heaviest. A giant tree wetter can tip the scales at around 70 grams. Despite lacking a sting, they can deliver a fierce bite. Their name originates from the Maori people, the original inhabitants of New Zealand, and it translates to God of Ugly Things. So, you're dealing with a truly ancient insect. Fossils of giant tree wetters date back to the Triassic period, over 190 million years ago, making them older than some dinosaurs. Adding to their peculiarities, they have ears on their knees, perhaps a quirk by Mother Nature. Botflies, also referred to as hornet flies, may not be larger than your palm, but they instill great fear. These insects belong to the parasitic fly category, meaning they rely on a host to complete their life cycle. And yes, humans can be included in their list of hosts. Their life cycle cannot progress without spending their larval stage within a suitable host. They achieve this by laying their eggs on blood-feeding insects like mosquitoes. When these mosquitoes bite someone, they transmit the eggs and the host's body heat triggers their hatching. The hornet can reach sizes ranging from 12 to 19 millimeters. What's eerie about them is their ability to live beneath your skin. While most hosts survive the ordeal, there's a risk of skin infections, some of which can be fatal. However, if you wish to remove this parasite, you'll require a pair of pliers. Regular bees can be found on every continent except Antarctica. However, the giant honeybee, 
scientifically known as Apis dorsata, inhabits the forests of South and Southeast Asia, particularly in Nepal's Tare Forest. They rank as the largest honeybee species, measuring approximately 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters in length. Typically, their nests are constructed high above the ground in trees. If stung by a giant honeybee, symptoms can range from mild allergies and abdominal pains to chest discomfort severe organ damage, or even serious intestinal injuries. Recently, researchers published a study documenting severe cases of giant honeybee stings in Sri Lanka. One incident involved a seven-year-old man who was pursued by 200 bees, highlighting the rather aggressive nature of the giant honeybee. Interestingly, beekeepers do not typically keep them. Paper wasps are remarkable insects known for their round, inverted nests made of paper, which gives them their name. Sometimes referred to as umbrella wasps due to their nest's resemblance, they are reddish-brown striped insects that aren't particularly adept at stinging. However, their sting is characterized by a biting, burning sensation with a bitter aftertaste, owing to the toxins they release. These toxins can cause allergic reactions, lip or throat swelling, and in severe cases, even death. Additional symptoms include dizziness, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and a rapid heartbeat. Their sting primarily serves as defense against larger animals like birds, dogs, wolves, and humans. Fortunately, they only attack when they perceive a threat, so it's best to give them a wide berth. Ants are renowned for their diligent work ethic, and the red harvester ant exemplifies this trait. These ants predominantly inhabit the southwestern United States, where they diligently collect seeds, their primary food source. Using their large mandibles, they meticulously grind the seeds and store them in various granaries. Despite their small size, measuring only 7 millimeters, these industrious workers ensure an ample food supply year-round, earning them the moniker Red Harvester Ant. However, beyond their impressive foraging skills, they are also formidable adversaries. Some species boast barbed spines capable of breaking the skin, while others can deliver multiple stings, causing significant damage along lymphatic ducts. Their venom comprises amino acids, peptides, proteins, and an alkaloid venom acting as a pheromone, enabling a single harvester ant to summon reinforcements in the face of danger. Just imagine encountering an entire army of these ants. Native to Central and South America, the warrior wasp, also known as Sinoeca, is infamous for its excruciatingly painful sting. Unlike most insects that only attack when provoked, the warrior wasp exhibits inherent aggressiveness. According to insect researcher Justin Schmidt, author of The Sting of the Wild, the sensation of being stung by this insect is akin to being engulfed in the fury of an active volcano, rendering it nearly impossible to fathom the intensity of the pain. Additionally, the wasp employs another tactic to intimidate potential threats, aggressive wing flapping, earning them the nickname drumming wasps. This behavior typically deters predators. However, if it fails, their potent sting serves as a formidable defense mechanism. The velvet ant also goes by another, much more chilling name, the cow killer. However, rest assured, there's no documented case of this insect actually killing a cow. The name simply underscores the excruciating pain inflicted by its sting, as attested by those unfortunate enough to experience it. This pain is reported to be truly unbearable. Despite its name, the velvet ant isn't an ant at all but a wasp. It's often mistaken for an ant due to the female's wingless nature. Adding to its unsettling nature, the female doesn't construct her own nest. Instead, she infiltrates the nests of other species and feeds on the host pupa once her larva hatches. The velvet ant's ferocity is further underscored by its array of defensive mechanisms, including chemical defense odor, a thickened external skeleton, warning sounds, and, of course, its venom. Driver ants form colonies that can comprise over 20 million individuals. Predominantly found in Central and Eastern Africa, as well as certain tropical regions of Asia, these ants are carnivores, with earthworms being a primary food source. However, they're also notorious for attacking any animals that fail to move out of their path quickly enough. While it's commonly believed that only red fire ants can bite, the truth is different. There are over 12,000 ant species capable of biting. The doorless ant, for instance, employs scissor-like jaws to bite its prey. When threatened, 
they aren't shy about using these jaws on humans. Those who've experienced their bite attest to the difficulty of removal due to their incredibly strong jaws, not to mention the intense pain it inflicts. Insect researcher Justin Schmidt didn't just pen the book The Sting of the Wild for the sake of writing. He immersed himself in first-hand experiences of various insect stings. Throughout this journey, he devised the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, a tool used to categorize and rate these stings. At the apex of this index cites the bullet ant, named for its sting's similarity to a gunshot wound. In Venezuela, it's dubbed the 24-hour ant, as victims endure a full day of agony or succumb within 24 hours. Dr. Schmidt's warnings about this insect's sting should be heeded, as he vividly describes it as sheer, intense, and unparalleled pain. While Justin Schmidt ranks the bullet ant as having the most excruciating sting, many, including YouTuber and wildlife expert Coyote Peterson, assert that the executioner wasp inflicts the worst pain. Schmidt himself hasn't experienced the sting of this wasp, so it's absent from his pain index. However, Coyote Peterson has endured the agony of both the bullet ant and the executioner wasp, attesting that the latter is far more agonizing. Upon being stung, Coyote experienced immediate searing pain and described his skin as burning intensely. The relentless throbbing pain resulted from the venom, which induces premature cell death in tissues. Coyote's arm remained swollen for days, with a small hole marking the sting area. Drawing from this ordeal, Coyote crowned the executioner wasp as the reigning champion of stings. The killer bee, also known as the Africanized honeybee, is the result of a crossbreeding between the East African honeybee and several European honeybee species. Originating from Brazil, these bees have now spread across parts of South to Central America. The moniker killer bee is not arbitrary. They have the capability to swarm and attack hundreds of people if disturbed, leading to over a thousand human deaths. With a sting potency 10 times that of other species, they pose a significant danger. In October 2010, a 73-year-old man unintentionally disrupted a beehive while clearing bushes, facing the inevitable onslaught of hundreds of bees. Stories abound of these bees pursuing individuals for distances exceeding 400 yards or 400 meters. For those with an aversion to centipedes, encountering the giant centipede is a scenario best avoided. Mainly inhabiting the tropical regions of the southern United States, these colossal creatures live up to their name, reaching lengths of 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Astonishingly, a Chinese man even opted to keep one as a pet. Renowned as aggressive hunters, they can effortlessly subdue spiders, scorpions, and other sizable insects. When faced with a larger adversary, their venom becomes a weapon in battle. While human bites are infrequent, they are exceedingly painful when they do occur. Symptoms of the venom may include fever, nausea, and cardiovascular issues. Additionally, these centipedes pose a significant nuisance for farmers and gardening enthusiasts. The Australian funnel spider, also referred to as the atrocity, holds the title of the most lethal spider globally, exclusively inhabiting the eastern regions of Australia. With a minimum of 40 subspecies, not all pose an equal level of danger. Yet, Spiders like the Australian funnel spider possess potent toxins that act swiftly upon contact. Symptoms may include heart and muscle cramping. 13 individuals would not have survived encounters with this spider if not for the antidote developed in 1981. Since then, no new victims have emerged. So, if you plan a vacation to Australia and find yourself in humid forest areas, exercise caution. Despite the existence of an antidote, the spider's bite remains intensely painful. Personally, I'm not a fan of small spiders, but encountering this particular spider would undoubtedly terrify me. The assassin caterpillar, residing primarily in the rainforest of southern Brazil, claims the title of the world's most perilous caterpillar, earning a spot in the Guinness World Records for its extreme toxicity. Interaction with this caterpillar is strongly discouraged, given that their bodies can destruct red blood cells. Growing between 1.3 to 1.8 inches or 4.5 to 5.5 centimeters, they pose an added threat as their excellent camouflage and tree bark makes them nearly imperceptible. Should you chance upon one, the likelihood of encountering a group is high as they commonly reside in clusters. 
The Asian giant hornet is an insect that has been increasingly spreading in recent years, mainly found in tropical regions like China, Japan, and India. Since 2020, reports have surfaced of their presence in America, potentially posing a significant problem. These hornets can grow up to almost 3 inches or 7 centimeters and have the capability to wipe out hundreds of bees simultaneously. This poses a threat as bees play a crucial role in pollinating our food crops. Beekeepers are understandably worried about the rising population of these hornets, and there's also a danger to humans. Their stings are highly poisonous and painful, causing around 50 deaths annually in Japan alone. Fire ants known for their stinging abilities, instill fear due to their potent venom. Unlike regular ants that bite and inject acid, fire ants bite and inject venom, often fatal to smaller animals. While human stings may not be lethal, they are extremely painful, with about 5% of cases leading to suffocation due to allergic reactions. As the name suggests, the stings from these fire ants leave a burning sensation on the skin. Moreover, these ants are notorious for causing substantial damage to nature reserves. In the United States, over $5 billion are spent annually on medical treatment, damage control, and managing the impact of these insects. The most perilous insect on this list, and unsurprisingly so, is the mosquito. Mosquitoes have a diet that includes the blood of animals, including humans, as it's rich in proteins necessary for egg production. Their bites result in itchy rashes as they transmit their saliva during feeding. Similar to ticks, mosquitoes are vectors for diseases affecting humans and animals. According to various sources, they are responsible for over 700,000 deaths annually. Regions most affected by mosquito populations include Africa, South America, and Asia. Diseases such as the Zika virus, West Nile virus, and malaria are among those transmitted by mosquitoes. Have you ever encountered a dangerous insect? Feel free to share in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. For more of our content, click on one of the videos on the screen or explore our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.